Here are the top stories you need to know about this morning. Efforts to rebuild the historic Honey Run Covered Bridge in Butte County are hitting a new milestone. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live at the site where the bridge burned down in the campfire. Diego, what does it look like right now? Kelly, Kelly, this is what it looks like right now. The pillars are already rebuilt um, that will hold the bridge. But crews are soon to be working um, to finish the job and, um, and make it look exactly as it used to. A campfire burned down the bridge in 2018. Crews finished the first phase of the rebuild in 2020. Next month, we will see the flooring, the sides, and the roof to the bridge in place. That also means the park will be closed during construction. And on June 2nd, the annual pancake breakfast will be here at the park, which also marks the last day the park will be open. And in about six months, you'll see a completed bridge here that looks just like the iconic bridge that once was here. Back to you, Kelly. Breaking overnight, an encounter with a deer in South Butte County sent two people to the hospital. This is the crash. They hit a tree while swerving to avoid the animal in the road. Orville CHP at the scene told Action News Now a deer ran across the dark road and the woman driving the car swerved to avoid it and smashed into the tree. Officers say situations like this are tough for drivers who must make that split second decision. Happening today, a Chico man accused of killing another man with a golf club will be in a Butte County courtroom. Police say Hunter Harris fought and killed 29-year-old Austin Olson Swanick on Sunday. Police say they tracked down Harris in South Chico two hours after the fight that happened near the Regency Inn on the Esplanade near East Avenue. Harris is charged with first-degree murder. He'll be arraigned this afternoon at 3. If you get your water from South Feather Water and Power in Oroville, you're going to want to hear about this. You could see a 68% water rate increase by August, followed by double-digit increases the next four years. South Feather Water and Power provides water to parts of Oroville, Palermo, and Bangor in southeast Butte County. Today is a special meeting discussing the proposed rate increases. And happening today in Shasta County, George Herbert, a Pearl Harbor veteran, will be laid to rest at the Veterans Cemetery today in Igo. Herbert died December 7, 1941. He served as a sailor on the USS Oklahoma ship. Now, the Herbert's body was transported back to California.